30 games of qualifying on five different oil patterns this week, and in the end, two members of last year's team reclaimed their spots and captured titles. Brittany Hamilton for the women and Chris Barnes on the men's side. Team trials champions and winning the right to represent the U.S. at this year's World Cup. I mean, that was really my goal. Uh, it was the same way when I was an amateur and I was bowling this. I bowled it six times and five times I qualified and, and bowled my way onto the team. Uh, we had to be in the top six then to do that. But I, I led three times and lost in the, in the uh, final match. And uh, so it's nice to come out on top. And, and after all these years, uh, I'm going to get to bowl my first World Cup. It means so much to win. I, I, I can't even explain it. I, I still can't believe that I won, and it hasn't really set in yet, but it, it feels amazing, and I'm so excited to represent the USA at the World Cup and be on this team again. With 10 spots on each team still in play this week, Team USA trials set records for entries and certainly caught the attention of Team USA head coach Rod Ross. It's, it's always gratifying to see how many strong players we actually see are coming and trying out. Not really a lot of prize money. They're bowling for the country for a chance to be on the team. And the world's getting better, and we got to try to keep up with it. So let's take a look at the selections. Qualifying automatically on the women's side, Sarah Loker, already a junior Team USA member, and Shannon Pluhowski back for another year after leading this week in qualifying. The selection committee added Danielle McEwen, who had won this event the last two years, and Holly Harris, who finished fifth after a strong week. Back on the team for their work here this week and impressive resumes, Missy Parkin and Kelly Kulik. The team rounds out with the summer team trials qualifiers, Kayla Johnson and Carolyn Doran Ballard, plus selections of longtime Team USA members Shannon O'Keefe, Liz Johnson and Stephanie Johnson. The men's team is full of talent as well as last year's trials champ John Serbinski is back for more. Mike Fagan returns to Team USA as an automatic qualifier as well. Rob Gotchel makes his Team USA debut after a strong fourth place finish this week. And right behind him is Marshall Kent, back for another run at Team USA. AJ Johnson is selected back to the team from his week here and his resume, as is John Janowitz. JJ, back with Team USA. Summer qualifiers Jeffrey Young and Nathan Bohr, and resume picks for PBA stars Tommy Jones, Bill O'Neill, and Sean Rash, rounding out the men's team. Being a part of this team is amazing, and having USA on my back is a, there's no words to explain how that feels. Representing your country and representing the rest of my team is, is great, and I, I'm so excited to do it again. Some of the best moments in my life have been bowling with Team USA. Uh, when I was an amateur, I didn't think I'd ever get to do it again, and some of the most fun I've had in the, you know, since I turned professional has been with Team USA. I'm Matt Lawson for Bowl TV in Las Vegas, Nevada.